In people who hear voices, a common misconception is that engaging with those voices is potentially dangerous and counterproductive. This is something which is very important that we understand our current position as assumed by much uh, of certainly the medical population of psychotherapists and psychoanalysts is driven by a position which was taken over 100 years ago based on the work of Carl Jaspers, which effectively said that neurosis is understandable and intelligible and therefore we can talk about it. You're afraid of the color red because you were run over by a red car. This is meaningful, it can be talked about and understood. However, psychosis and the content such as heard voices are the product of a broken brain. They're unintelligible and meaningless and it is not productive to explore those. It's important for you to understand that in many cases this is completely untrue. Uh, work looking at the areas of psychosis and the whole renaissance of psychotherapeutic endeavor for people with psychosis and complex dissociative disorders has shown that uh, indeed engaging with the voices and using them within an appropriate therapeutic system can be not only highly productive but indeed very helpful in helping the person to come to a place where they live and function well. It's still taught that psychosis is unintelligible and just a biological brokenness. But I want to reassure you that when we look at the work of people like Marius Rom and his wife Sandra Asher and those who work within the Hearing Voices networks, the time and time again, people have experienced that when their voices are meaningfully engaged, that actually this can help them to move to some form of adaptive resolution. We must also remember that Marius Rom teaches us that the sort of orthodox position is that we have well people on the one hand who do not hear voices and on the other hand we have ill people who hear voices. However, Professor Rom invites us to consider that actually we have a group of, a group of people who hear voices and who are well and indeed there are many of these individuals within our society and you indeed may be one yourself. Moving and trying to progress in therapy towards a position where there are no heard voices at all um, may not be achievable and it also may not be necessary to aim for that. So working in these complex cases there is a, a renaissance in this type of work. Voice hearing does not necessarily equate in and of itself with illness and is indeed a normal human experience in many individuals and we look forward to talking more about this in future videos and to inviting those of you hopefully to some of our trainings in the future.